impressive for a former chief of police. You got congressmen here, senators, a few former cabinet members. Well, well, somebody said that Teddy Kennedy might be dropping by. You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. oh, hello, you gotta quit teasing. He's starting to foam with the mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, Holt obviously sucked up to the right people. Jack. Mm -hmm. Mr. Look, well, you might want to give some thought to who's going to attend a party in your honor when you're old and gray. Well, that's why I hired you, isn't it? I'm going to go work the room, and then you're going to thank me. Joe. Oh, thanks for coming. It means so much to me. Well, I wouldn't have missed it, Elliot. Although I should be a little mad at you. Those pictures in the book, they're not that flattering. Well, you're just angry because it reminds you you used to have hair. <laughs> I'm talking to the mayor about you. How are the wife and kids? Fine. All right, please give them my very good. <clears throat> You're not mingling. I'm shy, Moni. Yeah. You know, you really should try to talk to some of these people, Jack. You know, you press people are all alike. It's who you know in the money. This is the glitterati of Washington in this room. They help make Elliot Holt a very powerful chief. I work for the people, not the power. Oh, that's good. I like that. Can I quote you on that? Give it a rest. All right. This weekend in New York, I promise, no pencil. Actually, I'm looking forward to meeting your ex-wife and your children. Uh-oh. Listen, I gotta go try to wrangle an interview out of that guy. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? One o'clock. Democracy. All of it. Stuart Randall, it has been a while. It's all lies, Ella. Holt's book is full of lies. Can I get you a cup of coffee? What's in here? It's not true. I, I was there, I know. I was there the night Tracy Potter's car was pulled out of the Potomac. I know the truth, and so does Nolan. Her face was cut here. Excuse me. Could I have a cup of black coffee right over there? Thank you. I raise my glass to all of you, my friends, my family, those of you who made the writing of a southern town possible. Thank you. For Enjoy the evening. You want these people to buy the lies, Elliot? You paint yourself as okay. some kind of hero. Stuart, you're drunk. You don't, you don't, you don't want to do no, this. No, Joe. You of all people, you know it's true. You were never his friend. You were just his, his boy. Just his, his boy, Joe. the book party? No. Influential group, rousing reception, fitting tribute. There's no mention of the Randall incident. You're welcome. I hope no one was blindsided. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. I'm beginning to think that there's something personal between Stuart Randall and Chief Holt. Well, Chief Holt fired Randall. He was supposed to be his right-hand man. It never happened. They were partners. They ended up enemies. Well, everybody said Randall was a drug, on duty and off. He was plastered last night. I'd like to move on to the overnights, if you don't mind. Thank you. We had two shootings in the southeast. Uh, three suspects were apprehended in connection with the car theft ring on the hill. And a house burglary in Stanton Park. Uh, now, that's the fifth burglary we've had reported in that area in the last two weeks. Ellen, let's do a comp stat on home burglaries. Let's look for uh, patterns, known perps, possible fences. And also, I want to see our arrest clearance rate. Uh, and one other thing. We need an officer representative assigned to the disciplinary board. We're reviewing Officer Dwayne Reston's case. Catch me up on that one. 
uh, a year ago, excessive force. U.S. Attorney bumped it back to this department for us to handle. Resting in his partner answered a domestic abuse call. Guy was slapping his wife around. She was beat up pretty badly. But the husband punched her a few times while Reston was in the room, so Reston whacked him in the head, gave him a few digs in the stomach. Taste of his own medicine, you know? And his partner reported it. No, the wife did. And it took a year to come up to the disciplinary board? We've got a backload of cases, and only one board. From the time of the complaint to the time of the trial, it takes about a year. All right, that's going to stop today. Temple, you should sit in on the Reston case. Me? Yeah, be good experience for you. No officer should have to wait a year to come to trial. Careers are being held back because we haven't made this a priority. Now, Ella, hmm. the man you left with last night, who was it? What are you talking about? Comes under the subject of overnights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you got some business. <laughs> I want to apologize for last night, Joe. There's no need, Elliot. No, 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 it was embarrassing. And I'm sorry that it happened. I also think the two of us ought to see to it that Stewart gets some kind of help. Hey, hey, maybe. He's been in and out of the program. But Stewart's got to want to go himself. But I'll certainly call his wife, Jane, see if there's anything we can do. Oh, good. Oh, you're busy. Yeah, I remember what it was like when I was here, and I've got to tell you... I miss it. You know, I, I was thinking last night after the party about when you first joined the police force, how difficult it was for a black officer to get respect. That was a long and difficult battle, Joe. But I'm glad we won it. Anyway, all of this just to say that uh, you're a good officer. And I am glad you are where you are today. Well, thank you. You know, Joe, Randall always had the wrong idea about what happened at the river. Thirty years have passed. And I guess he just let it get warped through alcohol, depression. that beat tonight it's freezing out there joe man you say that every night by the end of the shift it's you who's pulling me through well this time i'm serious i mean how long do we have to take this all the white officers are riding around and causing all the brothers of walking the beat when is it our turn it'll come Corey. just do your job you learn respect scale will start tipping our way and who are you kidding the only reason we're here is because they didn't want to sacrifice themselves during the riots they put all the brothers out front. Well, now that it's over, we're back in our place. And I'm not freezing tonight, Joe. I don't care if they buy me. Hey, Cody. Joe. Hold. When do we get a rotating to the cars? Yeah, right. What, is something funny? Who are you talking hey, to? Hey, hey, both of you. The guys are just cold and tired. Walk away. not the guy you should challenge here, Joe. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Holt. You ain't the one standing out there freezing on the beat. What's this? Well, I've got a deadline, and you're a very busy man. So I decided, instead of spending the first 20 minutes of our hour lunch together deciding where to go, I chose Harrigan's, and I picked up a tuna on rye right there. Looks very juicy. And um, turkey on whole wheat. It's a little dry, but I brought extra mustard because I know how much you hate mayonnaise. So you choose. Uh, my. Uh-oh. What is it? 
I have a confession to make. That you I don't need. like tuna or turkey? No, that's not it. No, I knew it. You know what? What? I don't want to hear it. Just keep it to yourself, okay? Because those words, I have a confession to make, are the very words that have preceded most, if not all, of the bad news I've ever heard in my life. Okay. So keep it to yourself. I'll be much happier. Yeah. Okay? Marty. Oh, I have a thing. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to go. Darn it. No, you don't. You're going to sit right there and listen to this. I have... I invited you to my ex-wife's wedding because I want her to feel jealous. That is your big confession? Yes. Yeah, and you think that I didn't know this? You didn't know that? Chief, you know, you don't have to be a detective to figure that out, okay? Well, I'm so far behind when it comes to women. I didn't think you knew that. But, um, I'm, well, I'm, I'm hoping that's not the only reason you're inviting me. No, it's okay. not. You are very attractive. I like you a lot. I like you, too. And I'm looking forward to having a great time. I gotta go. Okay, so, um, which one did you decide? Well, I like turkey. I'm not a big tuna fan. Okay, I'll take the tuna then. But you know what? I'm kind of craving the turkey, so I'm Why just gonna take half. Why did I figure that out? I'm gonna take half. Uh, this potato sauce. Let me get good. the door for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, thank you. So, uh, Oop, careful. You know, oh, sorry. Careful. You seem a little tense. <laughs> um... Hey, Temple. We're just sitting on the board in the resting case. Yeah. But you know I can't really talk to you about that, Kyle. <laughs> of course not. The guys and I just wanted to say we're glad it's you. Mm -hmm. That's right. We know you do right by us. By us, Reston. He'll be happy to hear you've got his back. Ella Farmer. Yeah, hi. Listen, um, how far back does forensics keep information? 1970. The Tracy Potter case? Yeah, would you? And get back to me? Thanks. We have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Out of every 100 burglaries, this department is able to solve six. I mean, that's half the solve rate of the average police department. I don't think we are doing our job. Sir, if I may, are those numbers for the entire department or just the Crimes Investigation Division? And that matters how, Captain? Well, I think it would, sir. Um, CID detectives investigate burglaries where the value of property stolen is over $10,000. Patrol handles everything else. Patrol. So uh, uniformed officers who are busy handling uh, civil disturbances, domestic disputes, drunken disorderlies. What are they receiving? 20 other radio calls every night. Yes, sir. I don't know. Um, I think burglary is uh, last on our little to-do list, isn't it? Sir, patrol just doesn't have the time to investigate. Never mind follow up. All right, well, let's look at a family who has lost say nine thousand dollars worth of valuables ella would you chalk this up uh let's see a vcr stereo computer digital camera dvd jewelry cash all of it is, is less than ten thousand dollars but if you were to walk into that house you'd say my god these people have been wiped out and what do we do we send uh, a couple of patrol officers do what take a report take a report and yet the victim who has had their $10,000 diamond ring stolen from them, receives our undivided attention. But what you're telling me is, this department provides services only to the rich. Is that what I'm hearing? It was a policy instituted to effectively use our limited manpower. I see. So what do we tell the victims when uh, we're not able to recover their stolen property? My gosh, if only the crooks had just taken a couple more things, we'd uh, send a couple of guys out here who really know what the hell they're doing. Now that is a crime! From now on, that department policy no longer exists. The new limit is zero. Now, Joe, I want uh, every detective spending two hours of overtime investigating an old burglary case. We've got over 300 cases. We don't have the money in the budget for that sort of overtime. Joe, I don't give a damn. We can't keep pushing our financial worries to the end of the fiscal year. The same guys that were stealing when I got here are the same guys that are stealing now. 
Now, I think we're going to be amazed. We start catching some of these people, and all of a sudden, the crime rate's going to go down. We're not going to have any overtime. All right, all right, I'm on it. Good. Ella, would you work up a memo stating that we have rewritten department policy and get it to all the commanders? Done. Chief, your plane leaves in an hour and a half. Thank you, Nancy. Joe, you have my cell phone, right? You don't need to call me unless it's an emergency. Everything will be all right. Don't worry about it, okay? Joe. If you have to run a Comstat, why don't you let Ella run it? All right, Chief. Fine. Thank you. Hmm? Why did you do that? You are number three in this department. I want people getting used to you in a command position. Now he thinks I'm a threat to him. Well, competition's good for everybody, isn't it? Keeps them on their toes. You're gonna be okay going to New York with this wedding, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got a good feeling about this, Ellen. No, I mean, you're not gonna do anything bad, right? Bad. Ella Farmer, your lack of faith in me is breaking my heart. Other than the birth of a child, a woman's wedding day is one of the most important ones in her life. Well, thank you for the homework moments. Uh, no, I think everything is uh, going to be fine. Thanks, so. All right, Nance, there you go. No, he likes his water room temperature. Yeah, you told me already. Yeah. Don't forget to leave your cell phone on. And uh, turn it off during the ceremony. Yeah, put some uh, water in his dried food, because then it makes a gravy. He likes that. Chief, I got you. Have but, a great uh, time in New York. Yeah, thanks. New York. New York. Oh, no, he's going to start singing, isn't oh, he? I'm yeah. leaving today. I'm going to make a brand new star. <laughs> new York. New York. Howdy. Those summertime blues. Hi, <laughs> See that? Fine. Oh, well, I forgot. Uh, Lloyd from Forensics called. He's got nothing on a Tracy Potter case. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Yeah. Pretty bad. Car went over the bridge. Kid escaped, but he couldn't save the driver. Tracy Potter. She's 17. They were drinking? I think so. He tried to move the seat back to get her out. What do you mean? Well, seat's all the way back. She's not that tall. Then I guess he did. I got you. That's odd. How'd she get cut? Look, why don't you guys take off? We've got this covered. No, we'll stick around. I said we've got it covered. Hey, let's go, Joe. Uh, you know who that is, don't you? Who? Congressman Waring, son. Speaker of the House? Mm-hmm. Leroy Lawrence, this guy had snatched 200 purses yeah. that summer. Never got caught. 
So Jack, he's had it. He declares war. We are going to get this Jeremy guy. Jeremy, I'm going to pay a visit to Mr. Mm. Roy. So Leroy jumps out his window, lands on his fire escape, jumps from that fire escape to the fire escape of the apartment next door, which is one floor down. You oh. went right after him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Sure. No, yeah, no, 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 like you did not, no, bar. this is not a leap any man in his right mind no, would have no, made. No, 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 I mean, before he left, I had him. I had <laughs> yeah, him before well, he left. Yeah, well, Sergeant Kelly's furious at us for letting this guy get away. Jack stands there, looks at him and says, no, no, it's okay, Sarge. See, when the movie comes out, I do make the leap, and then I catch Leroy on the other side. <laughs> You're terrible. Yeah, we had to work midnights for, what, a month after that? Well, that's because you laughed, Sherry. <laughs> You laughed. So he was a troublemaker even back then, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Jack tells me that you two met when you were writing an article about it. Well, yes, I was. It's actually the first uh, article in the last two years that I still haven't turned into my editor yet. Oh, well, good luck. He's not too fond of reporters. No, I know. Of course, I'm trying desperately to change his mind. I think that's me. Excuse me, honey. Must be the office. Excuse me. Just the ladies' room. Oh yeah. Uh, straight through there. Take a left, and it's the first door on your right. Great. Thank you. Be good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's Albert. Yeah. It's pretty. Oh yeah. yeah. Redhead. No kidding. Did she ask you yet? Ask me what? To her prom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it. We yeah. should probably order as soon as they get back. Cause I'm sure her parents want her in bed before ten o'clock. <laughs> no, no, she doesn't have to be home before twelve. You know? I mean, Ooh. they trust me. So the thing about Alexia, or whatever, you know, I mean, the, the shirt model. Albert. Albert, yeah. The guy's boring, Sherry. Come on. You know, I thought you said he had less hair than I did. Where's the life? You know, when you graduated the academy, she was, what, just entering uh, kindergarten? You're so sexy when you're jealous. Why are you marrying him? Because I love him. Warren, you love me. Oh, I asked for this, didn't I? No one to blame but myself. I'm the one who invited you. Sherry. You remember the first time we went to Coney Island? And rode the cyclone. Of course I do. <clears throat> it's over. Giant chemical settled. Seven point five million. Oh, you did it! You did it, honey. Mmm, 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 mmm. Way to go, Alan. It's a big deal, huh? Albert. Thanks. Well, how about some champagne? Yeah. I think so. No, yeah. it's on me. Great. Thank you. Two magnums. Best champagne you got, uh, right? It's been a long day, hasn't it? Yes, it has been. I understand you're interested in the Tracy Potter case. That's curiosity, I guess. I'm reading Chief Holt's book. You call up our forensics unit, ask them to pull a file because of curiosity? That's an abuse of police manpower. Sorry, Chief, it won't happen again. The case file was missing. Been 30 years. You ran statistics. You know better than anyone else how chaotic this place was then. That was an important file. Ella, did you know that after President Kennedy's autopsy, part of the brain went missing? You know much about the Potter case, Joe? Nothing. Good night, Ella. Two fifty-five Hammond, residential burglary, six thousand. How's it going? We're concentrating on the two major areas of the city where the most burglaries occurred. It's like they're haunted. What do you mean? On both Stanton Park here, 
and in the Woodley Zoo area, the value of the property stolen is consistently under $10,000. It's like they take a calculator to the scene. A good amount of these reports list everything stolen but one item, a television or a stereo. A crew that knows if they keep under 10 grand, there's no heat. Right. I'll set up a comstat, then we'll be able to determine where to focus. No, that is not necessary. Our focus should be on locating the places where they're unloading the goods. A fencing operation. Exactly. And that requires detectives out on the street, not in Comstead. McGregor, you get with the district commander, set up the stakeouts. I'll let you know when to call a Comstead, Ella. All right? Fine. Good. And then I continue, do you take this man, blah, 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 in sickness and in health, etc. I do, I do. I pronounce you man and wife. The kiss. <laughs> And then you both proceed down the aisle. And the rest follow. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi. Our organist will play anything you like, just sit here with the sheet music. And do it. Good, good, good. So where's the uh, hot co-ed mom said was hanging all over you? She said that. I'm giving you the edited version. Oh. Well, uh, Vicky is uh, with some friends, and I thought it would be nice if we just had lunch, just us, you know, like old times. Can we go to Nathan's at Coney Island? Well, I'm way out there, Beth. Come on. Please, Daddy? Magic words I can't resist. <laughs> Great. I'll go get my stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I decided to go to law school. Jack, do not enter the dark side, <laughs> son. And hey, my grades are pretty good, and... Albert says he, uh, he knows some people, thinks I could probably get into Harvard. Who well, does? I'm very proud of you, Jack. Jack, man, you know, I'd like to talk to you. That would be you. I'm gonna yeah. get my coat. Yeah. Don't do anything stupid tomorrow. It's my wedding day. What could I possibly do, Sherry? <laughs> oh, a couple of things spring to mind. I am a man with a broken heart. Besides, you were jealous. I was not jealous. You weren't jealous? Come on, Sherry. Yeah. Come on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? Shame on you. Shame on you, Jack. That girl adores you in case you can't see it. Money? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. She knows how I feel about us. Jack, there is no us. There is no us. I have moved on. I am marrying Albert. It's a small obstacle, Sherry. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Yeah, it's a waste of my time. You have been warned. Jerry. What? Why'd you invite me here? Yes. You're my best friend. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. So, uh, they come to L.A. to play 58. Who's on the team? From Brooklyn. Taxi? Taxi. Bonnie? Excuse me, sir. What's going on? I'm leaving. What? What happened? You know what? I wrote you a really well-written note and put it under your door. You wouldn't want to run up there and read it while I make a quick exit, would you? No. What are you look, doing? Look, you were honest with me, and I, I, I wasn't honest with you. Or myself, actually. Bonnie, I'm not following this now. I've got this crazy little crush, okay? And um, I was hoping this weekend would turn into a, a romantic one. Um, and then I saw the way you looked at Sherry last night, and I realized I'd made a mistake, so... Oh, Vicky, that's listen, my fault. Let no, just finish. let me apologize. No, if you're not going to read my note, you have to listen to what I'm going to say, okay? I'm going to go back to Washington, and we're going to bump into each other, and um, we're going to have lunch, and maybe we'll go see a movie. <laughs> And hopefully, and I'll keep my fingers crossed on this one, um, you'll get over her before I get over you. Okay. So that was her, huh? She's pretty hot. 
Everything okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just the guy I was looking for. You doing anything tonight? No, why? What's up? Yeah, I've got to work overtime, so I thought you might want my two tickets to the Wizards. What? Floor seats. Take your girl. Oh, well, what do I owe you? Don't worry about it. You know what, Mel? I can't accept these. Why not? Just rather not. You sure? Positive. Oh. Okay. But, uh, but thank you. Why haven't you returned my calls? What are you doing? You know the truth about Tracy Potter, don't you? You've seen the case file. There is no case file. It's missing. Ah, uh, Holt. He's covered up the whole damn thing. How do you know that? Because I helped Holt move the body. Tracy Potter wasn't the driver that night. She was in the passenger seat. The boy was driving? That's right. Well Holt was protecting the congressman? And paving his way to becoming chief. There's no proof of that. Oh, yes, there is. What? Nolan? Ask him. He was there that night. Joe saw it. Ask him where she was cut. It was the right side of her face. And only the passenger window was shattered. It doesn't make any sense that she was in the driver's seat. If he doesn't back me up on this... Is a damn liar. The wife was pretty badly beaten. If I'd gotten there a minute later, there's not a doubt in my mind that she'd be dead. It says here that you and your partner had to physically restrain the husband. Well, he put up quite a fight. I had to consider him a danger to the victim and to myself. I had to smack him in the head just to get his attention, but I made every effort to safely apprehend him. He wasn't armed? No. Well, Officer Reston, I believe that's all, if there are no other questions. No, I have none. Detective Page? When you smacked him in the head, did you get his attention? Yeah, I'd say that he calmed down a little. Yeah. Then why'd you punch him in the stomach? Twice. I think that's all, Officer Reston. Thank you, Counselor. Thank you, Gloria. Well, he's a good officer. This is his first offense. He spent the last year on limited duty. I say time served. Agreed? No. Short of firing him from this force, I recommend... A 30-day suspension and counseling. That's typical of someone who's never worn a uniform. Officer Reston acted irresponsibly. I think that the uniform is clouding your judgment, not mine. Temple? I agree with Ella. You do? Yes, sir. Oh. Thank you. I think this is uh, adjourned. moment, please. You are determined to undermine me, aren't you? What are you talking about? Well, first man, you puts Paige on this board, then he orders me to let you run Comstat, then you dig up the Tracy Potter case. This is a setup to have me removed, isn't it? No, Joe, it is not. Don't lie to me. You're the one who lied to me. I beg your pardon. You lied about the Tracy Potter case. You said you knew nothing about it. You were there that night. What side of her face were the cuts on, Joe? Randall put you up to this, didn't he? Yes, he did. Why didn't you say something? I don't owe you any explanations, Ella. 
You knew she wasn't the driver. Who are you trying to protect? Elliot Holt? My loyalties to another officer are none of your concern. None! It was the 70s. White cops hated us because we were black. The black citizens despised us because we were cops. Even the mayor declared war on us. Elliot Holt was moving on up and I just hung on for a ride. He wouldn't have helped you if you had opened your mouth about the Potter case. I don't know. Elliot Holt was chief. Stuart Randall said he was going to tell everyone that he and Holt moved the girl's body into the driver's seat. Holt fired him. He knew no one would believe Randall's story. He was a drunk. It was the first time I was sure of the facts. And I kept the secret. And you expect me to do the same thing, Joe? I looked the other way, Ella. So, if you think that bringing up this case now will right the wrong that was committed that night... Well, I guess you're gonna have to follow your conscience. Ella? and spirit of man and woman, of husband and wife. If anyone knows a reason these two people should not be joined in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, you know, I, I can't. Uh, I really love this woman. It was a mistake. We never should have broken. I'm gonna kill you, man. Oh, Dad, don't do this. No, you're a dead man. Jerry, I can't let you do this. I can't. Jerry, what are you doing? Jerry, Jerry, no. Jerry, I need to know. Do you want to go one more round with me? I do. I do. And do you, Albert Charles Putnam, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? For richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. But you're not supposed to be back. Uh-huh. Is my dog still alive? He's fine. Why are you here? Because I work here, Nancy. Where is everybody? Constat. These hot spots show the greatest concentration of residential burglaries in the last six months. 30% of all these burglaries took place within a half mile of a pawn shop or a fencing operation. 60% within one mile. And 70% are within two blocks of major arteries. Makes for an easy getaway. So, the question is, how do we nail these guys? Units should patrol one to two blocks from the major arteries, report any suspicious activity. Good. And? Our detectives will stake out the areas, locate the fencing operations, and make the bus. All right. Let's go get them. What happened? Sherry got married. End of story. You weren't supposed to be back here until tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm back today. You're all right. I'm fine. My heart's intact. More importantly, are you all right? Are you guys a little problem with Joe? It's water in the bridge, Chief. Hey, Mary. June? Can I get a cup of black coffee to go, please? Sure. Thank you. Hey, Temple. You think you did the right thing? I know I did the right thing. Thank you, Joe. I uh, wanted to apologize for yelling at you. How come you didn't tell Menion? Because I agree with you. 
It wouldn't do any good now. Well, thank you. No, don't thank me, Joe. I think you were wrong back then. You weren't there? No, I wasn't. But I'd like to think I would have spoken up. We'd all like to think that, Ella. But how many times have you and I had to look away and endure just to get to where we are? What about Randall? He didn't ever mention the case except he grew to be a jealous alcoholic. This town has a long history of ignoring whistleblowers. Good night, Ella. Good night, John. Sure. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be on your honeymoon. What happened? The kids all right? The kids are fine. Well, what happened? Sit. Breaking away. The movie! Right. Breaking away. After the first 15 minutes, I begged you to walk out. I wasn't interested in a boy on a bike movie, but you refused. Shut up. You said, but Sherry, if we leave now, we'll miss the part that everybody's gonna be talking about at the precinct tomorrow. And you know something, you were right. And so, never again, no matter how bad the movie, did I ever ask that we walk out of a theater? So I find it strange that you choose to walk out today. Oh, I missed something big, didn't I? Oh, Jack, you missed the part that everybody's going to be talking about. What happened, Sherry? I, uh, I did a bad, bad thing. Right in the middle of my own wedding ceremony, I got distracted by another man. You. When you walked out of that church. I heard the minister say, till death do you part. And then Albert said, I can't. What? <laughs> That's precisely what I said. And then... He repeated it. I can't marry a woman who's in love with another man. Are you? Yes. This is the Biography Channel. You want to be yourself, but you're not allowed to be yourself. This is the Biography Channel. I was just beside myself with anger and disappointment. This is the Biography Channel. I'm the only actress he knows you have to pay to keep your clothes on. Reality meets personality only on the Biography Channel. Biography Channel. What a concept! Chief of Police. You got congressmen here, senators, a few former cabinet members. I don't know. Somebody said that Teddy Kennedy might be dropping by. You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. oh, hello, you gotta quit teasing. He's starting to foam with the mouth. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I mean, Holt obviously sucked up to the right people. Jack. Miss Farrell, man. Look, you might want to give some thought to who's going to attend a party in your honor when you're old and gray. Well, that's why I hired you, isn't it? I'm going to go work the room, and then you're going to thank me. Joe. Oh, thanks for coming. It means so much to me. Well, I wouldn't have missed it, Elliot. Although I should be a little mad at you. Those pictures in the book, they're not that flattering. Well, you're just angry because it reminds you you used to have hair. <laughs> I'm talking to the mayor about you. How are the wife and kids? Fine. Oh, right. Please give them my very good. <clears throat> You're not mingling. I'm shy, Moni. Yeah. You know, you really should try to talk to some of these people, Jack. Yeah, you, know, you press people are all alike. It's who you know in the money. This is the glitterati of Washington in this room. They help make Elliot Holt a very powerful chief. I work for the people, not the power. Oh, that's good. I like that. Can I quote you on that? Give it a rest. All right. This weekend in New York, I promise, no pencil. Actually, I'm looking forward to meeting your ex-wife and your children. Uh-oh. Listen, I gotta go try to wrangle an interview out of that guy. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? One o'clock. Democracy. All of it. Stuart Randall, it has been a while. It's all lies, Ella. Holt's book is full of lies. Can I get you a cup of coffee? What's in here? It's not true. I, I was there, I know. I was there the night Tracy Potter's car was pulled out of the Potomac. I know the truth. And so does Nolan. Her face was caught here. Excuse me. Could I have a cup of black coffee right over there? Thank you. Over here, Mr. Holt. I raise my glass to all of you, my friends, my family, those of you who made the writing of a southern town possible. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the evening. You want these people to buy the lies, Elliot? You paint yourself as okay. some kind of hero. Stuart, you're drunk. You don't want to do no, this. No, Joe. Of all people, you know it's true. You were never his friend. You were just his, his boy. Just his, his boy, Joe. of the book party? No. Influential group, rousing reception, fitting tribute. There's no mention of the Randall incident. You're welcome. I have no one was blindsided. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. I'm beginning to think that there's something personal between Stuart Randall and Chief Holt. Well, Chief Holt fired Randall. He was supposed to be his right-hand man. It never happened. They were partners. They ended up enemies. Well, everybody said Randall was a drug, on duty and off. He was plastered last night. I'd like to move on to the overnights, if you don't mind. Thank you. We had two shootings in the southeast. Uh, three suspects were apprehended in connection with the car theft ring on the hill. And a house burglary in Stanton Park. Uh, now, that's the fifth burglary we've had reported in that area in the last two weeks. Ellen, let's do a comp stat on home burglaries. Let's look for uh, patterns, known perps, possible fences. And also, I want to see our arrest clearance rate. Right? All right, and one other thing. We need an officer representative assigned to the disciplinary board. We're reviewing Officer Dwayne Rest in this case. Catch me up on that one. Uh, a year ago, excessive force. U.S. Attorney bumped it back to this department for us to handle. Rest in his partner answered a domestic abuse call. Guy was slapping his wife around. She was beat up pretty badly. 
But the husband punched her a few times while Reston was in the room, so Reston whacked him in the head, gave him a few digs in the stomach. Taste of his own medicine, you know? And his partner reported. No, the wife did. And it took a year to come up to the disciplinary board? We've got a backload of cases, and only one board. From the time of the complaint to the time of the trial, it takes about a year. All right, that's going to stop today. Temple, you should sit in on the Reston case. Me? Yeah, be good experience for you. No officer should have to wait a year to come to trial. Careers are being held back because we haven't made this a priority. Now, Ella, hmm. the man you left with last night, who was it? What are you talking about? Comes under the subject of overnights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you got some business. <laughs> I want to apologize for last night, Joe. There's no need, Elliot. No, it was embarrassing. And I'm sorry that it happened. And I also think the two of us ought to see to it that Stewart gets some kind of help. Hey, hey, maybe. He's been in and out of the program. The Stewart's got to want to go himself. But I'll certainly call his wife, Jane, see if there's anything we can do. Oh, good. Now, you're busy. I remember what it was like when I was here, and I've got to tell you... I miss it. You know, I, I was thinking last night after the party about when you first joined the police force, how difficult it was for a black officer to get respect. That was a long and difficult battle, Joe. But I'm glad we won it. Anyway, all of this just to say that uh, you're a good officer. And I am glad you are where you are today. Well, thank you. You know, Joe, Randall always had the wrong idea about what happened at the river. Thirty years have passed. And I guess he just let it get warped through alcohol, depression. that beat tonight it's freezing out there joe man you say that every night by the end of the shift it's you who's pulling me through well this time i'm serious i mean how long do we have to take this all the white officers are riding around and causing all the brothers are walking the beat when is it our turn it'll come Corey. just do your job you learn respect scale will start tipping our way man who are you kidding the only reason we're here is because they didn't want to sacrifice themselves during the riots they put all the brothers out front. Well, now that it's over, we're back in our place. And I'm not freezing tonight, Joe. I don't care if they find me. Hey, Corey. Joe. Hold. When do we get a rotating to the cars? Yeah, right. What, is something funny? Who are you talking hey, to? Hey, hey, both of you. You guys are just cold and tired. Walk away. not the guy you should challenge here, Joe. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Holt. You ain't the one standing out there freezing on the beat. What's this? Well, I've got a deadline, and you're a very busy man. So I decided instead of spending the first 20 minutes of our hour lunch together deciding where to go, I chose Harrigan's, and I picked up a tuna on rye right there. Looks very juicy. And um, turkey on whole wheat. It's a little dry, but I brought extra mustard because I know how much you hate mayonnaise. So you choose. Uh, my. Uh-oh. What is it? I have a confession to make. But you I don't need... like tuna or turkey? No, that's not it. No, I knew it. You know what? What? I don't want to hear it. Just keep it to yourself, okay? 
because those words, I have a confession to make, are the very words that have preceded most, if not all, of the bad news I've ever heard in my life. Okay. So keep it to yourself. I'll be much happier. Yeah. Okay? Money. Oh, I have a thing. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to go. Darn it. No, you don't. You're going to sit right there and listen to this. I have... I invited you to my ex-wife's wedding because I want her to feel jealous. That is your big confession? Yes. Yeah, and you think that I didn't know this? You didn't know that? Chief, you know, you don't have to be a detective to figure that out, okay? Well, I'm so far behind when it comes to women. I didn't think you knew that. But, um, I'm, well, I'm, I'm hoping that's not the only reason you invited me. No, it's yeah. not. You are very attractive. I like you a lot. I like you, too. And I'm looking forward to having a great time. I gotta go. Okay, so, um, which one did you decide? Well, I like turkey. I'm not a big tuna fan. Okay, I'll take the tuna then. But you know what? I'm kind of craving the turkey, so I'm Why just going to take half. I'm going to take half. Uh, this potato sauce. Let me get good. the door for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, thank you. So, uh, Ooh, careful. You know, oh, sorry. You seem a little tense. Um. Hey, Temple. I heard you sitting on the board in the resting case. Yeah. But you know I can't really talk to you about that, Kyle. Of course not. The guys and I just wanted to say we're glad it's you. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know you do right by us. By us? Reston. He'll be happy to hear you've got his back. Hey, Lloyd. Ella Farmer. Yeah, hi. Listen... Um, how far back does forensics keep information? 1970. The Tracy Potter case? Yeah, would you? And get back to me? Thanks. Well, we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Out of every 100 burglaries, this department is able to solve six. I mean, that's half the solved rate of the average police department. I don't think we are doing our job. Sir, if I may, are those numbers for the entire department or just the Crimes Investigation Division? And that matters how, Captain? Well, I think it would, sir. Um, CID detectives investigate burglaries where the value of property stolen is over $10,000. Patrol handles everything else. Patrol. So uh, uniformed officers who are busy handling uh, civil disturbances, domestic disputes, drunken disorderlies. What are they receiving? 20 other radio calls every night. Yes, sir. I don't know. Um, I think burglary is a blast. <laughs>